Welcome back to Love Advice. It's your boy, Jevy, here with Shinny, as you can see. That's your get Scarlett. Hello. What up, though? All right, so listen. This week, we're going to talk about, you know, hygiene. How to uh, respectfully tell someone they smell bad, or how do you break the news? <laughs> Breaking news. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> You're smelling bad. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not like oh. Not like that. I would never. I would never. Because oh. that's a really sensitive, like, thing to say, like, I remember at work, there was some guy that, yo, his B.O. was nuts. Like, it was crazy. That and sentence I sounds nuts. I didn't want to embarrass him in front of our coworkers and stuff. So, I respectfully, when we were clocking out before, I was like, yo, 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 come here for a second. Away from everybody, like, right when he was about to walk out the door, I was like, yo, like, I don't mean no harm. I'm looking out for you. You smell a little strong under here. You, know? you smell like you've been working construction so, all and day. Like, you know, but he, he, <laughs> well, we work in the office. He, he what's, literally, what's that I about? don't know if he took offense to it because I tried to word it as nice as possible. And he was like, oh, okay, thanks. Like, good looks. And I was just like, sorry. Like, good I, looks. Somebody had to say something. He was smelling up the whole place. Like, it looked, it smelled crazy. Like, and that's when before people was wearing masks and stuff, right? Yes. So you couldn't even hide from it. The worst is damn. now with the COVID when you can smell someone stink through their mask. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> but you can smell some like if I have my mask on and I could smell you still, you got you got a problem. You need to go to the doctor at damn. that point. It might be a uvula that's just stinking up the whole Halitosis. That shit. Halitosis, 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 halitosis. <laughs> 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 Have you ever been in a situation with a person um, that, you know, you're talking to or you're about to get intimate with or something? What's the, like, the wildest scenario you've been in? You got to tell someone, like, yo, nah, you smell like body. Well, first like of all, bro, <laughs> first of all, bro, like, not going to cap. <laughs> no cap. No cap. I, I stopped the whole, it, like, hygiene is just real huge it's for me. Huge. I mean, if I smell anything, it's done. Huge. Like, it's over. Like, that's an automatic <laughs> turn off. Like, <laughs> bro, end of it. If if you out here, if it's like, I mean, you, you get into it, whatever, and then, like, yeah, you, you get into it, and then, like, straw, can you smell something, bro? Yeah, it's done. It's done. Like, I'm, I'm a, and I'm gonna tell you too, I'm not gonna just bounce. Be like, yeah. That should stink. Like you need to fucking uh, take a shower or something. Like or 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 like I don't know like what's going on. Like maybe you know what I mean sometimes the pH be off. But you know what I mean like come on, yeah, I gotta find a balance out there. Like also, and it's sometimes what they eat too. Yeah. Yeah. It, it don't be nothing. A lot. Wrong. A lot of shit could throw off a female's pH balance. Facts. Like, it, it don't be anything more so than just what they eat. They might be eating badly. So, I mean, y'all females need to drink water, too. Like, yeah. Y'all eat a lot of you bitches don't drink water. water. Like, y'all need rough. with and the minerals. don't drink Dasani. It's just disgusting. It's like salt water. Well, listen, listen. You see, man. Fresh skin. Drink your water. That's it. That's water. all you need to drink your water. You know what I mean? Vitamins. Eat your ve vegetables. Y'all be acting like vegetables... It's the end of the world. Eat your vegetables. The you healthier you eat, the better you taste. Facts. What she said. Facts. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, you can't be drinking honey every weekend and not drinking any water. Like it doesn't work. That's how you get that dap. Y'all yeah, bet that flew over your head, but we go, we go. Dehydrated ass pussy. Hold the hold, hold the hold. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 tap, yo yo. Why did I say rerun? You see that? That's what we talking about. <laughs> that is not what we talking about. <laughs> okay? They talk about that 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 me that that. That's not what we talking about. <laughs> I'm carrying that one with me though. You got the wop or that that. You got the wop. You got the you got the that. Damn, that's a yo. You said that. I was like, damn, that's a. I paused. That's that's a a like, <laughs> I had to wait. said that dehydration person. <laughs> and then dehydrated, dehydrated ass pussy. Yeah, hey. like um. Have you ever been in a situation where you was fucking with somebody that smelled? Um, I'm trying to think. Body-wise or breath? 
Now, I once got in the bed with a chick and, you know, she about to get crazy. Go to kiss the chick. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'm like, yo. Damn, bro. Like, it, like, what am I supposed to do at this point? I'm trying to duck it. Like, yo. Yeah, no. Nah. But, you know, one of those situations where shorty just trying to, like, you know what I mean? She love kiss, but you can't love kiss on your red stink. That don't work. Facts. So I'm trying to, like, shout out to the kiss my way out of this so I could, like, Kiss a neck. <laughs> Escalate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Escalate the situation. Bro. Kiss a neck. <laughs> Kiss a neck. Away from the face. Bro. Honestly, for me, like. I fell asleep. Honestly? I fell asleep. Really? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because then, like, your mind don't connect to your other mind. Yeah, that. And you're like, nah, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, man. no, for me, I just go, like, I'm not gonna waste my time. Like, bro, the scenario you know what's disgusting? Mm. Hooking up with people once you've been out. Because when you're at the club, you're drinking, all those like cranberry hennies, whatever, all those juice, like pineapple, whatever drink you're drinking, it sticks to the back of your tongue, your breath be hot. Personally, in my purse, I could show you right now, I always have a little travel size toothbrush. Always. At the end of the day, if we go on home together, I'm gonna be like, give me one second, I'm gonna freshen up real quick. Go to the bathroom, you brush your teeth real quick, freshen up, whatever you gotta do, and then you get it popping, cause you're not gonna catch me slipping. Like, that's just, re that's, a, res that. that's a respect that. thing. Respect like, facts. come on, respect son, that. like. For yourself. For yourself, for like, yourself. cause the worst thing, like, people give more negative reviews about places, people, everything, than they do positive reviews. So, so if you stink and you smell bad, Bro, the first thing that they're gonna say is run to their friends and be like, yo, shorty smell crazy. Like, Arp. that's never gonna be me. Okay. Ever. Okay. It's okay. never that's gonna be me. And that shouldn't be anybody, to be honest. Like, you should always have some gum. You should always have some, like, a little travel size toothbrush from my CVS. Less than a dollar. Like, yeah, you know, I have that thing that. on you. Like, Facts. you know? <laughs> like, yeah, real shit. Stay strapped. Not only your mask, but. <laughs> Stay strapped in every sense. But in every sense. It's um, you know, so we're talking about the snares and stuff. Now, you you ever been in a scenario with a guy, and like shit about to get busy, and they pull his pants down or something? You're like, oh nah, son. And it's a little musty. Or you like a little bit of stack. <laughs> <laughs> I like my nuts with a little salt on them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor in that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. What she said about peanuts, <laughs> boy. <laughs> hey. No, but no. Uh, in all honesty, that has happened to me, and I just, I was like, you're a trooper. Say nothing. I know. I trooped through it, but I, I'm also very honest. So like, I didn't want to kill the moment. I just, I didn't go down there much. Um, but I did like tell them like, because at the time, like that's only really happened to me with people that I was dating, like in a relationship. Uh, with so, so like so, so I had that level of comfortability to be like yo like your shit is a little musty like come on son <laughs> <laughs> but I have been in situations where like I met this guy at a club he was trying to like bag whatever his breath was on heat like super caliente like mucha, I was mucha like caliente, su mucho, mucho. super caliente and he was trying to bag and I was just like hmm, you can have my snapchat I gave him my snapchat Nigga was on my back on Snapchat, like on my body, like always trying to, always like. So you know, I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, you know what? Let me give him the benefit of the doubt. He took me on a date. At that date, his breath was also on heat. I was like, at this point, two strikes, bro. Like you got, you have halitosis. So <laughs> hey, big boy, you out after two, cut. He, two, he continued. He continued to be on my back, and like always messaging me and stuff. And I straight up told him, I was like, honestly. I think you're a cool dude, but it's hygiene is really important to me, and it's a huge turn off that, unfortunately, the both times that I've hung out with you, your breath was a little hot. And yo, he literally, he opened the Snapchat, read it, left me on red, and then he like wrote back to me like probably like two hours later, was like, oh, like, good looks, uh, uh, and I was just like, all right. And ever since then, he's been on my back, but he already turned me off, like, 
I'm good at the second strike. You don't need three for right here, like. Thanks. <laughs> well, okay. I well, I'm glad he was um. It was a, it was he a champ about it. He hurt his confidence a little bit. That's yeah. why it took two hours for him to reply. To <laughs> but when he replied, he didn't say nothing bad. Like, like, you feel me? But, but some people. I set him up for the next shorty. He's gonna be conscious about his breath. Right, right, True. Right, right. She was hard. Out. And like, like, but it that honestly, honestly, that shouldn't even be like a thing. Like you said, like people should be really aware. Excuse me. People should be really aware of their hygiene, and I feel like. If you smell yourself, you should always be smelling yourself. But before. there's people that don't smell themselves. That's what I'm saying, That's and so it's bad. crazy there's because it's just like, how don't you smell you? Like you right now are the hottest thing in the room, like other than the Hot. sun outside. Like, <laughs> the sun outside. <laughs> You, that's you. Like you are the center of attention. You ever have a shorty go to hug you and be like, hey, right. and it's like, and <laughs> you're like, sis, did you just run three miles? Like. And I'll be like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, is that me? I hate when people hug me and they have bo, cause I feel like stink sticks to you. Stink, yeah. So stink like, if sticks. you hug me and right. you have bo, then I'm just like, and the whole time, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, yo. Well, and and in terms of getting intimate too, I mean, if if you out here, you know, doing your thing, I mean, you'll be sweating a bit. So why are you starting stinky? Like, <laughs> right? Cause it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get. We always we gonna get sweaty. I just go, you know what I mean? Yeah, listen. for sexual fluids out here. Real shit, but look. Uh, you put the vegetables in and the fruits in, you sweat them out. They smell good. So, like, you yeah, no, levels. but, you know what I mean? Certain people are eating terrible out here. Yeah, just gotta eat good. Gotta meat. eat well. You ever took a shorty water? out on a date and she ordered something with onions? Yo, she don't got no respect for you or nah, herself. Nah, she don't. Yeah, so I cook with onions, so it's not the main thing in the in the meal. So like you you you'll taste it, but it's not like you know I mean onion strong. Yeah, like so for example, it, it's if I go to Subway right, and I said yo I want a falafel. I said give me all the vegetables, no onions, no jalapenos. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want the extra heat. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going to work. I don't want the extra heat. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to people all day. So like, Facts. You know like, Facts. like I have the I got my little pouch in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my, my, my nail clipper, my toothbrush, mm -hmm. my Listerine, my deodorant, all that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't have to use it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, you know what? John, no. Quick, quick, buy a Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know I mean? people need to start, like, like having schedules for, like, ju just even if you, because certain people, like, you know, certain people don't smell bad. You know what I mean, only if you, like, running and sweating mm -hmm. or whatever. But still have the routine of like you know going to the bathroom, freshen up, like freshening up, brush your teeth, Listerine or whatever, right. deodorant and that. Like yeah, e easy things where you just have a if you have a routine for certain things, in terms of hygiene, it helps you. You learn a lot about hygiene in college, bro. Like you learn a lot yes. about other people's hygiene and how you yes. were raised because I remember like in college, I was talking to some guy and like obviously I would sleep at his dorm sometimes. His roommate was on the football team, and his roommate would wake up at 6 in the morning, where every time football players have to get up, and get out of bed, put his little football backpack on, and dip. So you mean to tell me you better to go to football practice, you didn't wash your balls, you didn't brush your teeth, you didn't, like, you're, you already, you sweat in your sleep, like, you guys, like, what? Like, that was beyond that's, me, and... That's crazy. I'm gonna say nothing, but he was white. But, like, little moon blonde, but, like... Come on, like, <laughs> yeah. Listen, you learn a lot about people, other people's hygiene in college, True. and like a lot uh, of people yeah. are nasty. How you were brought up, really how you were brought up is a big and like really hygiene is something that I personally know I'm gonna instill in my kids like crazy. Yeah, because it's yourself. super important, yeah, and could, it's one of the most basic things. That Caribbean, the Caribbean, uh, yeah. like parent, parenting is different. Like your your parents be on your ass. You be like, no yeah. matter if you're from DR. Antigua, Jamaica, mm -hmm. Haiti, don't matter where you're from. They on Thanks. your ass. Thanks. Like so if you in the house with a a Caribbean woman, for example, and it's the first time this probably won't happen. But if you got Caribbean <laughs> women that are relatives, you might go in the bathroom and see a panty hanging up. It's not a weird like it's not like to scare somebody. It's just they washing their drawers. They gonna wash them again. Yep. You know, yep. put it in there. Yep. It's just like I right, they drawers it's, off and wash it. Yeah. That shit happens. You feel Facts. me? But you was talking about college. 
And I want to ask you guys, how long did it take you to sit down in the toilet seat? Like, when you go and take a dump in, in, in college. How long did it take you to sit down in the toilet seat? Because for me, my routine took a little while. It took my me at least routine. five minutes. To Just to it. prepare the seat. Bro, yeah. I had Just the Clorox wipes, right? I whacked on the whole bunch. <laughs> it's the, the whole thing, bro. I am sturdy in my backpack. Bro, yeah, okay. I had my I little my caddy, backpack. and I never leave, left my slippers even like, leaving the room. Bro. Never. I mean, you're like never. this. I'm, yo, bro, I mean, they're like, I'm the janitor, bro. Just <laughs> Never take a shower without my shoes on, too. Seems it's like, 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 yo, why are you taking a take a shit, bro? Mind your business. Because <laughs> I spent you, the first 10 minutes cleaning bro, it. Cleaning People, the area. And when I do all of that, I'm still putting out the, the, the thing on you. I'm not bare ass on yeah. your shit. No, no, ever. Crazy. Absolutely not. No, you put the thing on you. Absolutely not. That, you put the toilet paper on that. You just set it up. Absolutely not. Bro, and that's it. If I know I got to use the bathroom, I can't rush to go use the bathroom. Yeah, I know. Like, I gotta go five minutes before right. I go, yep. like, yep. all right, cool. Cause you know that, that food go through you <laughs> in college. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 63. Bro. My nose, <laughs> all that, <laughs> all that. Yeah, so <laughs> if, you know, if we're sitting here, we have a discussion with someone and you're saying, how do you break it to someone? What would, what's the best advice you'd give to someone to keep their, their hygiene on a good level? What are some tips you would give to a person? Scarlet. To a person that like, like do like, I know them? Just in general, in general, you know. Honestly, yeah. like people shouldn't take criticism offensively unless it's presented to you offensively. Right. So if someone's like, "Yo, you fucking stink," like it, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a little appalled and I'm gonna be like, "Shut the fuck up, bitch," because oh. the way <laughs> the way you came at me, who, who are you talking the, to? <laughs> the way you came at me was like a little crazy. That's why I always try to approach situations like in the most respectful manner mm -hmm. without at the end of the day like what you're gonna tell the person like if you're telling them something about themselves they're gonna take offense to it and mm -hmm. it might be hurtful mm -hmm. so if you approach it in a respectful way on something like i'm looking out for you i'm i care about what other people might like perceive you as mm -hmm. like then that's the best way to approach it like how i did that kid i'm like honestly like no harm no foul like i both times that we hung out like your breath was a little hot, like, you know, and, like, that's what it was, like, and I feel like I went about it in a very respectful manner, even with my co-worker, like, I pulled him aside, because you never want to embarrass somebody, No. you know, because yeah. you feel bad, yeah, you feel really bad, really and, like, really people yeah. take offense to, humi like, public humiliation like that, so, like, if you pull them aside, you tell them what it is, if they take offense to that, then, honestly, they're just immature, because anytime that someone has to critique me on something, if they go about it respectfully, I'm okay with it. I take yeah. it for what it is. I'm like, all right, like, I'm gonna take that on the chin and keep it pushing, fix it and keep it pushing. And that's how it should be. Like, just keep it respectful. True, true. I feel like certain people just but at the end of the day, as, now that we're like, as adults, yeah. Yeah. you should not be an adult that stinks. And people need to be more self aware because a lot of people don't even realize that they smell. A lot, like, the minute that I, like, I'll be at the gym <laughs> mm. and I'm like, whoa, like, I need to take a good shower when I get home. Like, and like I smell myself constantly, and I'm always like, like very aware of yeah, what I odor. smell like and my odor, whether that be my breath or my body odor, like everything. Like, yeah. people need to be more self aware. Like, that smell ain't coming from the sky, nigga. It's you. <coughs> it's like <laughs> he went that SpongeBob. Like when he ate that shit, he was like. <laughs> 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 And he was like, that. He's like, hey. <laughs> and he killed people. Like, he was like, a green. Like, it was, it was bad. Like, that was, that's crazy. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to let Scarlett have the last take on that. So, you see what he, what she said? Be aware. Self, Self-awareness. That's the best advice we give about your personal hygiene. Be self-aware. You know what I mean? And, and go ahead. And two, like, there's certain people, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, your, your foot, your, your foot size. Know how you are in terms of like, you know, maybe even make a test, like test it out, like how long it take until you're breasting. Like maybe you need, it, you know what I mean, like time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it take like, maybe if a person who's talking a lot, I mean obviously if you talk a lot, or whatever, <laughs> your breast is gonna stink faster. So I like <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut up, or. Like, okay, maybe, like, you know, from the point I brush my teeth and take a shower in the morning, it takes me this amount of time, you feel me? This amount of time 
to to get to that level okay at this time or um you know after lunch or before lunch maybe let I me brush my teeth yeah again. let me brush my teeth or freshen up get yeah. and floss, or whatever bro. yeah Listerine, fuck, true something. if and you know your feet sweat put some powder yeah. in sneakers same like. thing same thing with like you know there's certain people who who sweat more than others you know what I mean the certain deodorant that you and you there's put certain on. deodorants that don't work for certain people so like I mean personally like I went through like Degree doesn't work for me. Dove doesn't work for me. I had to find like natural deodorants to work for me, and right. now I can like raise my arms. I'm not smelling True. up the place. Like it's it's about True. like you need to find what works for you. Everybody's body's different. True. So, so like you know what I mean certain toothpaste too. You know what I mean don't don't be trying to do the brand name toothpaste. <laughs> that be making your shit smell like heat. Like you know what I mean go find the vegan. Caliente. There's the vegan one. Yo, there's a lot of great vegan toothpaste that are like you know what I mean like tastes great too. You yeah, know, do, your do, do, do your research. Do your research. You know what I mean that uh, that lasts longer, so you're not stinking up yeah. nobody's area, and or your area in space. So you know what I mean do your research with the toothpaste with the body um um know shower your body gels or and know what works for you. Yeah, right. Don't be people. buying the brand name like the axe. Yo, how many mad people? In, yo. Because hygiene college. is huge, and nobody going to want to fuck with you if you stink. Right. At all. You hear right. that? And if you get intimate with somebody... Oh, my God. You you get into that. You know what I mean? Please, men and women, before you get busy, like, I know the makeout might be hot, whatever, you don't want to kill the moment. It takes two seconds to go to the bathroom and freshen up real quick. Because niggas sweat down there, shit gets musty. Bitches sweat down there, shit gets musty. Freshen up real quick, y'all going to have a way better time in the bedroom. I Facts. promise you. And... This has been Love Advice. Thank you for tuning in. Bang, bang, bang.